everybody. Welcome back to Friends for Life's Midweek Mini. Hello. We got some awesome news for you today from our friends over at Disability Scoop. And this one is really cool because it's local. I clicked on it. I was reading through some articles and I was like, holy crap, that is right here in Toledo. So for the news today, we got a article about the Toledo Zoo. Uh, has created a new program mm-hmm. to have volunteers with disabilities to come work there. And anybody that's from Northwest Ohio knows about the Toledo Zoo, one of the top ranked zoos in zoos the country. In the country, yes. And uh, you know, I Give grew up going there. <laughs> you probably grew up going there. Yes, you know, quite often. And it's, and I'm sure your children go there quite uh, often, all the time. The zoo is <laughs> is a cool place. So uh, it's always good to get some hometown information. We're very excited about this. And so basically, what happened? Uh, a kid. Wanted to volunteer at the zoo, mm-hmm. had a disability. Uh, the zoo basically was like, hey, you know, I don't, not sure we have the capacity to do this. Yeah. Like, it's not <laughs> our thing. Mm-hmm. And so the the mother of the of the child was like, hey, you know, I, I understand, but like, here's some simple things that we could do to make this work. And they piloted a brand new program. Uh, it's called the ADAPT program, I believe. Uh, and the, the kids with disabilities go with kids without disabilities and they're kind of like teams and they go out and they do volunteer stuff and they're mm-hmm. not like from the, from what the article saying, they're not like watching over them. They're just kind of checking in a few every once in a while, make sure everything's going okay, which right. is awesome. I don't know what's going on here locally, but like in the disability news world, like things are just. Left and right, we're getting so much awesome news. It's, yeah, it's really good to see. It is. And, you know, one of the things that is awesome, even more awesome, is it's happening in Toledo. Mm-hmm. In Toledo, baby. Um, it's, it's funny. You said, holy crap. You should have said, holy Toledo. Ah. <laughs> but, you, you know, there's always, yeah, the ADA, ha- you know, w- was put in place. But to have it uh, more specific... It really helps. And speaking of the ADA, the 31st anniversary is coming up. And our friends over at RVI, Sarah uh, Milliman, one of our coolest guests and and friends of the um, friends of the not only the show, but um, in the disability world or Mm -hmm. the developmental difference world. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm tongue tied. Man, this is normally you on Wednesdays. (laughs) Why can't I talk? I'm glad it's you today. Yeah, but uh, I think July 26th, um, and we're actually going to be doing a podcast there um, in person, so we can do a lot like we did with Tim and have a good time, talk yeah. to people, get to know things. But yeah, man, it's to see inclusion happening and people understanding is, I mean, I think the thanks goes way further than what we could ever even say. Yeah, and you know, it's it's great. It's being funded. So the program's called ADAPT. It's a D-A-P-T, uh, and it, it's receiving funding from Lucas County Board of De- Developmental Disabilities, who mm-hmm. we're also trying to get on our show here, um, and it looks to be pretty awesome. They're putting in tons of hours, and, you know, it's it's really good to see this thing happen at such a, a well-recognized place, too. Yeah. The zoo is, like, nationally renowned in the U.S. for one mm-hmm. of the top zoos, so to start a program like this, hopefully it will snowball things into having more programs like this across the country. Because as right. you know, you know, as we talk about quite often, disabilities get scooped under the table. There's not as many opportunities for people, mm-hmm. and it's really awesome to see these steps forward. Um, and you know, it's a cool place to get experience. The zoo is just—I mean, you have everything there. You have nature, you have food, <laughs> you yeah. have uh, people, you know, customer service experiences, I think, are some of the biggest things that all folks should be um, focused on because there's just, I mean, there's so much rudeness around. We need to be able to actually, I guess, even it out with, with yeah. more kind gestures and um, knowledgeable gestures at that. Yeah, so on that note, thanks Toledo Zoo for uh, staying in there, kicking butt, and offering new yes. programs to those with disabilities. I love my zoo. <laughs> Everybody's zooing it, man. Everybody's zooing that it. That used to be my jam. Man, dude. Still is. It, I love it. 
Yeah. So, you know, thanks everybody for listening or watching this week's midweek mini. Uh, go check out the Toledo Zoo if you haven't. If you're not from the area, definitely look it up online. If you're ever in the Northwest Ohio area, swing through the zoo is an awesome place. Yes. And maybe if we're lucky, we can get someone from the zoo in here to come and talk about it. You or, know, I think I got a couple of connections. I'm, I'm going to try. Get one of the uh, giraffes in here or something. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, don't forget to check out our other shows, too. We got the full-length Friends for Life podcast available on YouTube and podcasting platforms. We've got the Midweek Mini, which mid, 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 Midweek Mini. You, yeah, there you, it is. You knocked it off on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the Midweek Mini, which you're listening to right now. And we also have our newest segment, Nursing in No Time, available only on YouTube. It is not a podcast. And we yeah, also gotta, have our You got to go there to get that education. Yeah. And we're coming out with more of those soon uh we got a lot of cool topics if there's any topics you want to hear us talk about comment either on the podcast page our facebook our instagram youtube channel anywhere let us know and we will try and accommodate you thank you guys for listening we'll see you next week Whoop.